Yeah. You could even break it up more on that part. I would say even like if you like, I like the hi hat pattern, but maybe not as as steady. That build is cool on the very last one. Should we? What do you want to hear it? Just yeah, to get either just... hear it or, or do another one. What do, what do you think? Yeah, just do another one. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it again, Joe. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's starting to come again. Go ahead, guys. I think you guys just sort of need to get the form of it first and then sort of, we'll listen back anyway, probably plenty of times before we really scrutinize the detail by detail every part. My name is Jared Samuel. My project is called Invisible Familiars and we're here recording for Shaking Through. So after the instrumental, big gang goes raw. Mm -hmm. In the last six years or so, I've worked with Martha Wainwright, Chipo Mato, Ghost of a Sabertooth Tiger, Superhuman Happiness, done uh, some, some gigs with uh, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. After all of like, the random retail and service shit that I've done, I'm grateful every day that this is what I, what I get to do for the most part. Oh, you know what would be cool there? We could actually extend that even further and do a vocal round. Specifically dealing with like me as a sideman versus me as a frontman, it, it wasn't ever like a, a conscious decision because I was just like, oh, I could, I could eke out like a good living potentially if I really put my head down and do the sideman thing. I don't know if, I like the idea of starting off sparse, I don't know if it's going to start off that sparse. Yeah. So don't worry too much about, yeah. just enter where it feels right. Okay, so but there was, there were, oh, it was always something that kind of gnawed at me a little bit. And it just became more and more so uh, as I get older. It's, it's the one thing that, uh, that, that makes me feel, uh, like useful in this world. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear it back? Yeah, yeah. Just to sort of get a sense of what's coming out. Yeah, I, but I like the lower stuff that you're playing on on the verse, like especially if it's like almost like a, you know, the guitar intro to. Um, I guess we'll we'll see if you know the other side of me as as a front guy instead of a side man is any kind of success. But I feel the fact that I'm able to to have the time and the opportunity to even complete projects with my own writing under the name that I choose uh, is, a, is a, it's like, you know, small victories. It's okay, you can wait for your words to come back Anyway, what's the worst you can do? You can say as it turns how it's perfect for you Gifts we can list, scare me shitless sometimes. Why on earth? What a beautiful view. He's around, then he's gone. Makes it hard to go on. Speak loud that your mother's with you. Uh, let's take another one. That sounded awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Totally awesome. I don't know. I don't know how many more before I get burned out, but I'll, I'll keep trying. Yeah, just do a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> I can only speak for myself, but I, I think that there's definitely a spiritual quality to, to, to making music. When I wrote this song, I was on a houseboat uh, in, in Jamaica Bay with nothing but time and pretty much solitude. I'm gonna move you off the mic like two inches. Oh, okay. But it sounds fantastic. I hadn't really finished any songs yet, and, and I started to freak out a little bit. I was like, what if I come back to land and I have nothing done? And I said to him, I was like, it's okay, you can wait. And that was, that was the start. It was like, I repeated, it was like, there was something about the way I, I said it to myself, like I heard a melody in it. And it was like, it's okay, you can wait for your words to come back. Anyway, what's the worst you can do? 
just came so fast that it was almost like I, I had a, a, a like a dictaphone and a pad, and so I would be like I'd be speaking it as it came out. More or less, I was able to keep up, but I was scribbling frantically as as the words were coming out, and I'd never really experienced anything like that before. These fears and these dreams are still a mystery to me, but for them I'll be thankful too. I just don't know what else to do. I don't necessarily assume that it's coming to me from some like divine spiritual place, but I, I think it, the best moments are the ones where like if I tried to control it or, or rein it in, I would only be getting in its way. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's unlike anything else. <laughs> Invisible familiars are things, beings, spirits, whatever, you know, they're a conduit that guide you towards where you're supposed to be going. And if something is, is pushing me in some direction, then, then not fighting it. Working with Shaking Through and uh, Weather Vane Music has been uh, an absolute joy. I love working with people who love their job. That energy is infectious. Just simple stuff like that, of just like everyone being more about like uh, in, in service to the song. The, the fact that in this case it's mine, I'm, I'm yeah, it's it's wonderful. Cool.